Good morning, you guys, and welcome back. So I am sitting right now in my most favorite place in the world, my beautiful piano. I, for whatever reason, I woke up a little down this morning, and I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> but for me, any time that I kind of wake up on the wrong side of the bed, or I'm just kind of feeling a little out of sorts, the place I come to is here, and I play and write music. So I just kind of wanted to share a little song that I've been working on this morning with you guys, just a little clip of it, and just kind of see what you think before we begin the day a new person. All right, let's see if you can see. So the other thing that I like to do when I'm a little bit down is uh, go to the gym and work out. I just don't feel like doing a conventional workout. So I'm going to bring you guys along and show you guys some workouts that I do that may be a bit unconventional and that you guys can do. Um, that you guys can do really easily from anywhere and you don't need a gym to do it. So let's do it. Come on. <laughs> okay, we made it to the gym, which is step number one and perhaps the hardest step of all. So in light of that, I wanted to just show you guys some really quick and easy, like three to four minute uh, floor exercises that you can do from anywhere where you actually don't even need a gym. So for me today, I wanna to focus particularly on chest. So I'm just gonna show you some variations of the push-up that I, um, that I do literally all the time just to kind of get like a good chest pump going without actually having to come to the gym. Okay, first we just have our standard push-up. So just make sure that your back is completely straight and you're kind of clenching your butt to make sure that it's not drooping down. And we're gonna go for a minute, all right? Let's do it. Nice, okay, 30 second rest. Okay, another minute, let's do it. This time we're gonna go wide angle push-up style to really work your outer chest. Okay, 30 seconds, rest. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, last one. This is the hardest one. Put your hand in the formation of a diamond, kind of like this, and you're gonna drop your nose into it, okay? Now this is really gonna work your upper middle chest, which I am like severely lacking on. So for me, this one's always really important to kind of build this part right up here. If you can go for a minute, great. I'm not able to do that, especially at this point. Uh, so just go as long as you go until failure. Once you reach failure, that's when you know the muscles have been torn and you know that then they're gonna be rebuilt up even stronger uh, tomorrow and the next day. Soreness is good. If you find yourself really struggling, instead of propping yourself up on your feet, prop yourself up with your knees like this. You did it! Woo! High five. So that's it. That wasn't so bad, right? And you feel a little chest pump. Now when you put on your shirt, it'll fit you nice and snug for your night out. 
I'm gonna try and take advantage of the fact that I am at the gym right now and I did make it past that first step and do a few more exercises while I'm here. side of the bed or you're feeling a little bit down, don't feel that you don't have control to steer that ship right around with some sort of hobby or passion, like for me it's piano, fitness, and just kind of taking care of your body. So I feel a lot better and I hope you guys learned something. So now I am going to get some water and stay hydrated and I'm going to eat protein because they say that you should have a little bit of protein within an hour after your workout. And I'm gonna kill the rest of my day. It's gonna be a great day. Mwah. Ciao, nos vemos, I love you guys.